So, this time I'll show you my new version of my 3-bit color pixel. Uh, you see the back here. Um, above you have three input lines for uh, your uh, color value. And, and here uh, you must enter a pulse. Actually, at the moment I use buttons. Um, which will set the new value you have over here. It's a bit longer than the old one, but it has only a 7x7 seven seven footprint and it can be stacked in that way. Um, could you use logic to um, change the values to apply the new values. Here uh, we have a multiplexer with integrated memory because it's a piston. Um, run a bit small logic and wiring and well took a lot of time to do all this. And uh, finally the pixel itself. Uh, I'll just remove two blocks here so you can see what happens inside. I have to be careful not to delete any important blocks. So, um, yeah, you see, these are the pistons, the pistons which, why, which push always um, colored wool blocks or blocks of any kind in or out. Uh, I'll set value here. That these are directly hooked up to the um, input at the back, just like this one. And glass. So um, let's change this one, and you will see it's always the same system. Lock in. Then move both sides if needed, or always move both sides, and then um, choose one of those four pistons on the side. And after that, the center pistons, double piston combination, will push the block out. And green. Well, yeah, that's um, eight blocks, three bit color. Long and not so small, but it's the best I can make. I've tried really, really hard to make it as small as possible, but um, I think. Here's the limit for fast color changing, and I'm pretty proud of it. So, if you like it and if you want to use it, uh, just ask, and I will put word download or schematics. Is it word schematics? Uh, well, online to download. That's all. Thanks for watching.